Hello people, Jan and Plusmata here. Today I'm going to show you how to flash Glass ROM 1.0 pre release 2 for Galaxy Geo GTS 5660. First, you're going to reboot into your custom recovery and wipe data slash factory Z, then wipe the cache partition. Dalvi cache and now you're going to install zip from SD card choose zip now glass rom 1.0 pre pre 2 geo dot zip you are going to select yes let's let it flash I'll be back when it's done. Alright, I'm back. As you see, install was successful. Now let's choose zip from SD card and flash update super sue, which is also provided in the XDA thread. Alright, flashed. Now let's reboot the system. Uh, you need this because some apps require super user and the root in the ROM doesn't include natively ro root yet. You should see the glass ROM boot screen. Uh, it will take some time the first time you boot. I'll be back when it's done. Hello. It is, uh, it's taken about 10-15 minutes to boot. Uh, it just booted. Now it's prompting the configuration of the device. Uh, insert SIM card because I don't have a SIM card here, sorry. Uh, I'm going to skip Wi-Fi. I don't want to do it now. Wherever. Alright. Uh, now let me set my name. G... S. This is enough for me. A G and an S. Uh, now finish, setup complete, the ROM is ready to use, uh, as you see I have some stuff like EE file explorer, which is good because stock AOSP does not have it, uh, as you see it's working, now I think I flashed super SU, yeah. Uh, let me see if it's working. You also get oh terminal emulator doesn't seem to be working yet. Uh, that's a shame, but uh, whatever. Let's check exposed installer. Now you need to install or click the install update button. Uh, Super SU is working. Uh, I don't want it to ask again, so let's grant access. No changes will be active on reboot. Now I'm going to enable some modules. Let's see, it comes with three modules. I'll enable all of them. Now I'll reboot. I'll be back when it's done rebooting. Uh, uh, now I have rebooted. I think I did reboot. Let me check. Now you're going to open at the advanced power menu and Modify power menu icons. Not very sure how this works. Yep, now I got the advanced power menu, which has the reboot menu, uh, has a screenshot button. Uh, so, this was it for today. Please like and subscribe. Uh, Jenna Polismata out.